darlings. Tonight we're gonna have a gathering of lovely people to explain to you all why Brits and Americans get all fussy about their English. So let's start. The first thing that you will notice is the spelling. Brits might say it like they mean it, but they sure do not say it like they write it. Vocabulary and grammar also differ, as you can see in a comedy of errors performed by Dora von Brighton and Kurt from LA. Hey, it's Kurt here. You talk, I listen. Kurt, it's Dora from Brighton. You emailed me at the weekend about switching flats. Um, on the weekend? I, uh, did? Yes, you did. Oh yeah, the apartment swap. So you're like, up for it? I have a two week workshop at a uni in LA and your flat is a short commute away. Oh, I see. So, you're like, going back to college? No, it's university! Can you hear me? Uh, well, never mind. I want to go on vacation. So it's a holiday for you. Wonderful! Brighton is perfect for that. Cool. Um, just one more thing. Like, will you be able to take care of my cat while I'm away? Well, of course! I get along perfectly with cats. Well, then I guess it's a deal. I hope you party wild in LA. Hello? Kurt, it's Dora. How are you doing in Brighton? Right now? Not so good. I think I ate too much. You've eaten too much? Did you go on a junk food binge? I just ate two burgers and three bags of chips. I asked for chips yesterday at the local deli and they gave me crisps. I'm having some issues communicating. Ugh, dude, me too. I wanted biscuits and gravy for breakfast, but like, the waiter said I had to go to a bakery. And the nearest one only sold cookies. And then, I got into a freaking mess in the movies. It was so gnarly. What happened at the cinema? I wanted to buy a soda, and like, the girl behind the counter said, we don't sell sodas. But like, I could see them, like, behind her. Like, turn around, duh. So I just completely freaked out, and I jumped over the counter, and I just grabbed one. And that's when they came and threw me out. Can you believe it? You should have asked for a fizzy drink. Oh, dude, I should have stayed home, because it started raining when I was going back to the apartment. Can you believe it? My sneakers got all freaking wet. Well, trainers are not appropriate for winter weather in Brighton. Oh, I didn't bring my trainer with me. He stayed in LA. I meant, oh, never mind. Have you checked my post box? Have I received any post? Your mailbox? Nope, you haven't gotten any mail. Really? I've not got anything in the post since you arrived? Pretty sure. By the way, are you having fun with my cat? I'm not quite sure fun is the word. She's so temperamental. Just pet her. She likes to be petted. Well, I'll give it a go. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Ouch! Oh, I'm bleeding now. Do you have any plasters in your house? What? Dude, why the hell would I have plaster in my house? Ugh, you're so weird. Then where is your nearest chemist? Chemist? What kind of chemistry are you doing there? Don't blow anything up, okay? Please! I'm bleeding rather badly. Then just go to a freaking drugstore and get some band-aids. But I don't need drugs. And band-aid was the death of 80 synth pop. I refuse to relive a painful moment from my youth. Is the emergency number in America 999? No. Dial 911. Look, I gotta go. I'm missing the soccer game and I think my team is winning. I've got to go too. And it's called football, Kurt. And your team are winning. Whatevs. Talk again in a fortnight. Late. What the heck is a fortnight? Of course there will be more. Let us know what other languages you would like to discover. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Auf Wiedersehen.